Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How can I request detailed inmate records through the Texas Public Information Act? To request detailed inmate records through the Texas Public Information Act, you need to follow specific guidelines and be aware of the exceptions and limitations. Making the request, you must submit your request in writing. This can be done via a letter, email, or fax. The request should be addressed to the Officer for Public Information or the Chief Administrative Officer of the governmental body, such as the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Clarity and Specificity Be clear and specific about the information you are seeking. This helps the governmental body to quickly identify the records you want and avoids the need to narrow down a broad request later. For example, you might ask for medical records, was incident reports, or disciplinary records related to a specific inmate. Charges and fees. The governmental body can charge for copies of the requested information, but the fee must be reasonable and cannot be used to discourage the request. If the charge exceeds $40, you are entitled to an itemized bill. You can also ask to view the records in person to avoid copying charges. Exceptions and limitations. There are several exceptions that may limit the availability of inmate records. For instance, the Texas Public Information Act has a carve-out that generally does not allow information about an inmate to be released, except for details like their location, reason for incarceration, and potential release date. Other exceptions include information related to ongoing investigations, competitive bids, trade secrets, and certain legal matters involving attorney-client privilege. Processing time. The governmental body is required to respond promptly. If they contend the information is not public, they must ask the Attorney General for permission to withhold the records within 10 days. The Attorney General then decides within 45 days whether the information should be released. If the governmental body fails to seek this decision in time, the information is presumed to be public. If the governmental body decides to withhold the information, they must seek a ruling from the Texas Attorney General's office. You can also offer written comments to the Attorney General during this process. If the Attorney General agrees with the governmental body, you can file a lawsuit in State District Court to challenge the decision. Additional considerations. In cases involving inmates, the department may argue that releasing certain records, such as use of force reports or incident reports, would hinder an investigation. However, some records, like those involving a crime against an inmate, may still be subject to required disclosure despite these arguments. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.